So this is Making a Procedural Village Generator in 5 Days by Ryan McMahon. So the first day is simple, so I'm going to keep it short. I need to establish the art style, and so we got corrugated steel, wood planks. We bring that together and have a nice paper model of what we want the simplest building to look like. The next day is for modeling, and the most important aspect is that each building is exactly the same size, so it's modular and can be used to make larger buildings out of the same unit. Um, so I made like four different wall combinations, so I can randomly select which ones so things look different, and here's a modeling time lapse, I'll let it play out a little bit. So this is the first village I made, uh, it's a little crammed in here as you can see, but I think it's a good start. It could use a little work. So I have everything evenly spaced now, and I have this grid that I can change the size. But obviously everything's a little too structured, so I'm gonna add some randomness with the Fisher Yates Shuffle, which is an algorithm I found online. Uh, so now I can change the seed, and there's all a bunch of different shapes that the village can take. And some interesting shapes came out of this. This looks like an 8-bit character, uh, pretty cool procedural art. Uh, so then I tried to add the roofs and things crashed as I accidentally added a thousand. Um, and then I added this uh, to give it like different personalities. You can change the percentage of how populated it is. And even if it's all the way up, there's no longer those weird holes, but rather uh, streets or like footpaths that go through uh, the buildings. And some other craziness that occurred is when I was trying to randomly rotate the roofs, they were just sparkling like crazy the entire time, so that's interesting. So I tried to take advantage of this and make this like sparkling word generator, see if I got any words out of it. No luck, you can make out some letters, but that's about it. And moving on, all the walls are in and the roofs are no longer freaking out, uh, but one major issue is, uh, if you see that building in front of me, it's about like seven or so units large, but as I go inside, you can see that each unit still has all four walls, so nothing is interconnected. So I had to figure out a way to delete those walls. And I eventually did, uh, as you can see. This building is about five units large, so there's different sized buildings now that all work and they all have doors and such. Um, so I tried to do a more pro, like complicated programming method, like the roads, but I actually ended up doing something a lot more simple. So what I did is a very short script where each wall just shoots a laser out in front of itself and if it hits this cube in the middle in a neighboring building then it just deletes itself when it starts the game. But currently everything is very structured and grid-like so I want to create a method that would add a bunch of randomness uh, to the villages so if you hold the T key uh, then tires rain from above for as long as you want and it's very bouncy and ridiculous currently but this kind of simulation could be cleaned up to add debris into the streets, make it a little more random. And that's my five days of procedural randomness. What the heck are you doing? That's what I'm talking about. You down. 